Hey. Yo, I'm just read something. I, I had to hit the record button. I read it. Boom, record. I gotta tell somebody. Listen, some shit just went down. Grab some food, grab some snacks, grab something to drink. Grab your dog if you have to, because this is going to be a long one, my friends. We got something to talk about. K.I. King Zhao Entertainment just got bought out. Yes, you heard me. Somebody from a faraway galaxy just bought King Zhao Entertainment. Now, you might be asking, now, who in their right mind would sit down and spend millions of dollars on a fucking game development company who's developed multiple games, but their only successful game was one? And to answer your question, my friends, their name is M.G.I. Dun, 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 dun. Let me say that again, because that was kind of fine. M.G.I. MGI bought King Zhao Entertainment for $126 million. Now, I don't know about you, but $126 million? That's a lot of fucking money, bro. A hundred. And not, not one million, not two. A hundred and twenty cents million dollars. Now, I did my homework. I did my research. I'm like, who in there, right? Who the fuck? Who is MGI, brother? Now, who, who is these guys down the street buying the game that I play every single day? Who, who are these guys, you know? And what are they going to do with my beloved Wizard 101? What are they going to do with Wizard 101? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? What can we see in the future? I'm about to answer that right now. So if you guys don't already know, MGI stands for Media and Games Investment. Right off the back, they got some weird ass generic ass name that doesn't really give me any type of, 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 of a spark. You know what I mean? What do you think about Call of Duty? Activision. You know what I mean? Activision. You know? When you think about World of Warcraft, Blizzard, Blizzard Entertainment, that gives me spark, you know what I mean? It gives me spark, media and games investment. What? That doesn't give me any spark. You gotta have a better name than that, bro. You know? When you think about League of Legends, Riot, Riot Games, that gives me spark, you know what I mean? Media and games investment. What? Who are you? Honestly, all I care about is, is this going to be good for Kings Out? Are we going to see something change immediately in Wizard 101, in the rest of Kings Out games like Pirate 101, etc.? Or will this be the downfall, the, the, the nail in the coffin for Wizard 101? For us to decide that, we have to figure out what exactly and who the fuck is media and games investment who are you so you know what big small did big small went to their about page on their website and here's what it says media and games investment plmgi is a fast-growing and profitable company operating in the digital game sector with a strong supportive media unit and a focus on north american and emea the company combines organic growth with value a weird ass word acquisitions delivering strong and suitable earnings growth since 2014 the mgi group has successfully acquired more than 30 companies and assets which are integrated onto our platform exploiting efficiency and enhancing technology such as the cloud i'll be honest with you guys first time i read this it was just a bunch of bullshit i i didn't learn a single thing about what the fuck mgi does all that i learned is it's a fast growing profitable co company and they own 30 companies and that's it that's 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 all i got that that's it even though they didn't really give us much or unless i'm a i'm a two-head and i didn't really read for understanding one thing that pointed out to me was 30 companies what are what are what are these other 30 companies uh, uh that mgi owns now here's a brief list of the games that uh mgi owns we have arch age we got troll we got arakina we got desert operations we got fiesta online we got defiance 2050 we got riff we got echo of soul we got grand fantasia i think um a majority of game majority of these games i don't know the only ones that really stand out to me is defiance trove and uh rift and the only one that i've played was trove but that does give me some hope you know some of these games you can actually look at and say hey i know what game that is hey i've played that game before or hey i've seen that game before and this company owns these games and then i'm thinking well 
what does that have to do with Wiz? That's, that's what we're here for. What does this mean for Wizard 101? That's all I care about. Well, there's two things that literally can happen with this change of King's Out. The worst thing that can happen is that we never see an update for Wizard 101 ever again. No King's Out game gets updated. It just runs as it is, and it just, over time, dies and the servers get closed and we all cry. That's the worst thing that can happen. On the bright side, the best thing that can happen is that we see multiple updates. We see a, a bigger budget for Wizard 101. We see more developers on the dev, dev team. We see this game flourish and all of our dreams come true. That's what can happen. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh my God, they got bought out. Let's go. We're going to see so many new things happen. Hold your horses, buddy. I was like that too. I was like, holy shit, Kingsdale got bought. Oh, this is this is great news. You know, this is everything we wanted. This is this is exactly what Kingsdale needed was for somebody to buy them and fix their fucking game. Cause obviously they're not doing what but wait. Before we get excited, we have to do some research on the company. Now, there's one game that stands out out of that list, and it's Trove. Now this company bought Trove in 2018. Trove released in 2015. That means after three years, this company decided to buy Trove. So I figured a good way to assess if this purchase is good for Wizard 101 is to see what happened to Trove after it got bought in 2018. I did a little bit of research and uh, seeing what the player base, the active concurrent player base for Trove looked like uh, when it launched at 2018 and now currently in 2021. In 2018, I can faithfully say Trove had an active current playership of around 3,000 players every single day. Now when we're looking at Trove, the numbers are a little bit lower, I will admit. I can I, I can faithfully say Trove probably has around 2,000, maybe 2.5. It's not that much lower than 2018, but in two years, you haven't done anything to increase your active player base at all. In fact, it's decreased. You're doing something wrong, man. Come on, MGI. You're doing something wrong. Now, 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 I'm not trying to burst your bubble. I'm not trying to say, oh my God, Wiz is dead. This company is trash. I'm just saying, don't get your hopes up. Wait until something actually happens and then assess the situation. I am excited and you should also be excited for this change of Wizard 101. Um, it did get bought out. Hopefully, this is what I'm hoping for. It got bought out by a company who has enough money to spend $126 million on this game. Obviously, they got more money than that, which means Wizard 101 slash Kings Out might have a bigger budget, which means we might see more developers, which means we might see more updates, faster updates, better updates, bigger, better, and absolutely just something absolutely amazing and immaculate. You know what I'm talking about? Now, on the same side, Trove is also able to be played on console. I couldn't get the console number, so maybe console is seeing a rise in players. Um, maybe I can only look at Steam. Um, and I don't know if Trove have, has his own personal launcher, like Wizard 101 has his own client launcher in its own Steam. This game is on multiple platforms, so it might be growing on one platform and just dying on the Steam part. I'm not sure, uh, so just keep that in mind as well. But yeah... I'm, I don't know how to feel, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in a mutual state, you know, at one side, this company hasn't done jack shit for Trove to increase its player base, as far as I see, maybe it's done things in other games, but I mean, I'm not so sure, but on the other side, a bigger company bought Kings out, we can see a bigger budget, we can see more developers, more updates, stuff like that, so it's like, it's an up and down scale, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get too excited and be let down, but at the same time, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer and something amazing happens, you feel me? I just, I'm just staying in the middle. This could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. It all, it's just how you see it, to be honest. It's just how you see it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's... I I really don't know what to say about this, bro. I just, like, we're kind of excited that King's Owl finally got bought. I hope to, to see some improvements with the game in the far slash near future. I hope we see new players. I hope we see advertising in. I, I just hope that we see all of these wonderful things happen to the game. But do your research, man. Look at who bought the company. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think will happen. Just let me know because, uh, I don't know, man. Media and games 
investment. Media and games. Somebody like Epic Games, Bob Wizard on one a We'd be jumping for media and games invest. I mean, they own some titles that are kind of nice, I suppose. I mean, there's some hope. Uh, yeah. Is this going to be the start of a new era, or is this going to be the end of Wiz? Let me guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, and peace.